Good evening my loves, welcome back to my channel everybody, I missed you guys, we missed you, we missed you all. I never start my videos in the evening, like I don't actually remember a time I've ever done this, but this weekend I'm fully home alone with the two babies. Fully, Connor left at three o'clock this afternoon and he's not coming back until Sunday at like 10 o'clock at night. His friend is moving away. So he's gone for like a lads weekend in Newcastle. And I feel like it's been a really, really long time since I did just like a vlog. You know, just like a really chilled out vlog at home where like you haven't really got any plans. I'm like pottering around here and there. I just can't remember the last time I did it and I would have started the vlog in the morning, but I just don't think I'm gonna be getting a minute's peace to be honest with you. So here we are. It is 7.30 on the, don't mind how cracked my phone is by the way. I'm, I really need to get it fixed. On the 1st of September, happy 1st of September everybody. It's a Friday night right now. I am almost certain that it's both babies finally asleep. Saint is good as gold going down. He went down at about quarter to seven tonight. We had a McDonald's for dinner. Drive through McDonald's because, you know, mum's treat. Oh, it literally petrifies me every single time that TV comes on by itself. Like, I'm gonna have to actually turn you off with the plug this weekend because I'm scared enough as it is of the ghosts of the potential robbers um, and basically every other irrational fear coming to life this weekend when I'm the only adult here. But yeah, Romeo, 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 where art thou, Romeo? Romeo is asleep in his cot, I hope. Recently bedtimes with him have been taking a long time and we have a lot of false starts at the moment. So I spent a long time putting him to bed tonight. We're doing loads of like, you know, windmills with the legs at the moment. He's quite gassy. It's just about to hit four months in five days time. So I think it's like, you know, the dreaded four month sleep regression. <clears throat> Although I have heard actually that, not to get into mum chat like literally this early on in the video, but I have heard that it's not actually a sleep regression. It's more that like at four months is when their digestive system kind of like matures a little bit and so that's more when like intolerances and digestive issues start showing a little bit more which can in turn like make their sleep poor because they've got funny tummies or they're a bit more windy a bit more refluxy than normal and obviously they can't tell us that uh, i don't know i'm not gonna go all scientist on either certainly on the video don't worry okay Here's job number one that I know was going to take me tonight to get used to is not having gone here to do the bins because that is not a me problem. This weekend it is, but usually it's not. Do you know what I'm saying? No one come at me for that. No one come at me for that. I don't have the time nor the energy nor the patience to be sitting around here pretending I'm an independent woman that does the bins. I need my husband to do the bins and feed the dogs usually. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, guys, it's just me, myself, and you, and the boys. I haven't got any plans, but I've been feeling like I really want to, like, get myself settled into autumn now, you know? I try to, like, break my days up between before and after Saint's nap time. Saint still has, like, quite a chunky nap in the middle of the day. And I try to break it up into, like, before and after. So I think before tomorrow's nap, I'm going to take them both to basically do that dream thing in the world. And that's, um go around Vietnam with me and TK Maxx. Is that really selfish if I do that? No. Happy mum, happy baby. Do you know what I mean? And there's mummies and pumpkins in our house. For a room that I spent so long decorating and designing when we moved in here, I do not romanticise. Yes, hecky, I know it's your tea time. This room enough. These sofas are literally dead. Like, they're basically dead. We've always got a Gruffalo book or a tractor lying around. I've had these like bits on the side over here for ever since we moved in about five years ago. The only time it sees a little bit of life is at Christmas time when we pop a tree in the middle. Do you know what I mean? So I'm definitely going to be doing some autumn decorating this weekend, I think. And after I've done a bit of tidying up tonight, um, I think I'm actually going to have a bubble bath and i'm already in my pajamas i'm gonna go and have a bubble bath and light a candle and read a book do you know what i mean because like don't get me wrong i'm married 
I love spending time with my husband, who is the best thing that's ever happened to me besides my beautiful kids. Yes, look at this gorgeous little love note that Connor left me today. I got to the doctor's when I came back. He had propped this up against some flowers, saying wifey weekend supplies. And then in this box was all of my favorite things, like fridgy, he bought me two Colleen Hoover books, he bought me some biscuits, cookies, he bought me my favorite Charlie Bigger meal. Okay, it's, now I'm saying out loud, it's, it was literally 90% food, but the guy knows the way to my heart. Yeah, even though like, obviously, you know, I love my evenings with Con and I love sitting down and watching TV and like catching up on our day together and, you know, looking at funny TikToks and stuff like that. Honestly, at the moment, I have to be in bed by nine o'clock, as in like going to sleep by nine o'clock. So realistically, by the time the kids are in bed, I only have like an hour to an hour, hour and a half to like, you know, do the stuff I need to do, whether it's clean up or if I want to read, like the evening when the kids go to sleep is my time to do that kind of stuff. So even though I obviously miss them dreadfully, you know, I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm actually looking forward to having a bit of Ellen or Jane time. I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna feed you. Sweet pack. But also, I do actually have a kidney infection this weekend, so that's really fun. Rocking Romeo to sleep when I literally feel as though I'm about to we out fire. Not my idea of fun. But I am on some antibiotics now and some painkillers as well. So you know, I'm just determined to make this weekend on my own with the kids you know just like a really like good chill vibe i remember when we didn't have any kids and it was just me and con and whenever we would go and like spend some time apart from each other whether or not like he was going on a, on a night out or i was going out for dinner with friends or something there was just always something like really calming and lovely about it for me and i'm just gonna be bringing that energy into this weekend you know like i'm not thinking about oh my god you know i'm on my own with two kids how stressful is that gonna be blah 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 i'm literally just holding in the energy that this is just a really lovely way to you know make some memories just me and the boys connect with myself and do some me things in the evenings and you guys can be a fly on the wall in that hopefully this weekend i i'm not i don't listen can i actually say something in a minute i actually don't know how much like vlogging we're gonna do in this vlog. I have the best intentions, but sometimes you might just have to be a fly on the wall. Well, I'm just trying to control my environment, babe. Do you know what I mean? Doing Romeo's windmills, potentially having a Hulk. If you guys have seen uh, the last video, the Primark video, potentially having Hulk roar at me. Um, having the dogs saying to me that they need their dinner, they need to, you know, no, I'm not going into that. I'm not having that kind of energy this weekend. Do you know what? Think it cools. First night by myself, think it cools. For a chocolate purge, bubble bath, book. Or do I sit and watch the summer I turn pretty? Because I'm about five episodes deep into that right now and it's quickly become my favorite comfort show. I know that some people have said it's like really slow, like they can't get into it, I understand. For me, okay, hear me out when I say this, there is something extremely autumnal about that show. Listen, am I adding two and two together and getting five there? Because the summer I turned pretty, there are an, on an island in Cousins, on Cousins Beach, having bonfire parties there's nothing about that that sounds autumnal but there's just something that is is autumnal about it you know until i'm given great british bake-off i don't really know what anyone else expects me to do anyway welcome back my loves missed you guys cheers to the weekend cheers to us Good morning. Heck, you stayed up in the bed with me all night, didn't you, Heck? Happy. Come on then, big boy. Come on then. Surprised you didn't come up here, Herbie. Yeah. Oh, heck, you big boy. You're looking after me here. Oh.
Oh, you want Herbie to jump up there? Yeah. Go on, Herbie. Up you get. Whoa. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. You ready for a fun day with Mum and yo yo? She kicked. currently asleep for his first nap of the day um it's about half past nine and i've used this time to my full advantage i really need to find my tripod this is embarrassing i'm literally like trying to set you up on the like edge of the book where my camera is just not gonna stay i've used this time to like get myself ready have a shower get a saint ready the key to being alone with two kids is being organized which as much as I'm not very good at it. So you have to learn, you know, and I'm a little bit frustrated because I've just gone to look in the fridge to try and find a granola pot, which I thought I had them in abundance, but it turns out I ate the last one yesterday. So now I have to think about what I want for breakfast. Just, you know, but this is my outfit of the day. Adenola, obviously. Literally, when am I not wearing Adenola at the moment? You know what? I just feel like Adenola is absolutely ever at the moment. Like when I came back from um, Ibiza, every single girl I saw was wearing Adenola. I can't even explain it to you. Every single girl we're talking. One girl had on the full like khaki outfit, like the shorts and the uh, bra. Another girl had on a really cool tracksuit from there. Another girl had on a sweatshirt and leggings from there. Like, oh my God, like, everything was from Adenola. All I wear is active wear stuff. L literally, that's all I wear. I was gonna say since I became a mum, but honestly, if you've been here for a while, you know, I've always just flawed out to wear, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I need to find something that isn't Adenola because it's all I wear. So if anybody has any other good activewear brand recommendations, let me know. And also, if you see me with this hairstyle for the foreseeable, just tell me who I am. You know, I'm going through a phase at the moment where I have spoken about this on my Instagram stories, but I'm going through the postpartum hair loss. And if you, like, see where my usual hairline is here... This like big triangle is just kind of lost really and receding a bit and the same here as well. When I am washing my hair or even brushing my hair, the amount of hair that comes out of my hands, I was actually quite scared at one point like googling is this much normal because it just felt like clumps and clumps. So I'm in a real phase with basically like trying to get my hair back to full health, like regardless of whether it's postpartum hair loss or not. I'm just doing everything I can to just really try and be good to my hair, to my skin, to my body essentially. I just ordered a massive restock of all of my vitamins that I take. I've, I've not really like properly been 
a vitamin girly to be honest like i've never really solidly taken them but obviously through my pregnancy i took like folic acid and the pregnancy i can't remember what they're called do i still have them in the cupboard Pregnicare tablets every day and so that kind of got me onto a good habit with them and then ever since I have found some other ones that are for breastfeeding and I take my omega-3 and the growing and glowing that girl daily challenge that we've just finished it was like one of my goals to to multivitamins and my probiotic and everything every day and I have seen a big difference not in my hair but in like my digestive system and my skin so I'm doing that and I yeah I got a restock of all of those vitamins and I ordered a couple of more bits like um like some collagen stuff and some magnesium actually for sleep and ashwagandha as well but when when that arrives i'll like i'm sure i'll do a story on it or whatever i'm also using something called hair syrup i did jump on the rosemary oil bandwagon but i just i was using it for like a month to six weeks and if anything my hair was just getting worse so i've kind of stopped doing that and i've started using something called hair syrup which i really really like since i've been using it my hair just feels really silky like i've never been someone to have silky smooth hair but yeah it just feels really really it definitely doesn't look it right now because my roots are through and i need a toner and everything on my hair but that's another thing like i'm really trying hard not to um go to the hairdressers very much i was literally going every like six weeks six to eight weeks to get bleach in my hair and i have been for i want to say like four or five years now honestly and that's just not something i want to continue i, I really want to try and get my hairdresser appointments down to like three a year really if i can and then when i'm going there not having bleach every time like last time i went i think i already spoke to you guys about this but i didn't get the bleach that i normally do i kind of i'm starting to like really fade it out so that my roots are like it's it's matched up to my root color a lot more so that when my roots come through it's not obvious like a, a block of root and then bleach um what else am i doing i'm using the hair burst shampoo and conditioner which i really like i'm on like my my second or third um bottle of those and i'm using a couple of like the sprays and balms are we gonna read the giant book together yeah. should we turn pepper off the tony box then yes. that i put in my hair like after i've washed my hair and i'm not using any heat on my hair so mummy's gonna have nice healthy hair hopefully like you herbie herbie thinks this is his See, but it's not, is it? Okay, then. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. Tiptoe, 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 tip. <gasps> oh, what's that? What's that Shut say? A bear! It's, it's a bear. bear! It's a bear! Hello, bear! Listen, all I'm gonna say is if you don't know the words to the bear hunt, you need to get on that. It's a tune, specifically the Wiggles version. Ooh, we're going on a bear hunt. Day. It's a beautiful day. That's right, darling. Yo, yo, can you read the cave baby book for Saint, please? He's asking you. Yo, baby. Yo, yo's just a baby, isn't he? Yeah. I'm Saint. And you're Saint. Is Saint a big boy or a baby as well? Big boy. You're a big boy. Okay, right then. Activity of the morning, boys and girls. We have come to TK Maxx. We are going to do a little bit of homeware shopping because let me tell you it does not feel like september in the house it feels like a gray and dreary version of july i've got like summer branches in my vases and stuff like that i just need some pumpkins in my life you know and while con's not here to get down the ones in, in the attic i need to take maths into my own hands do you know what i mean okay so this is how i tackle two kids uh, by myself in an outing do you know what i know that this might sound like you know, like really silly if you're not a mom or you're a mum who's like nailed like multiple children but you know in the first couple of months of like having two kids this is the kind of content that i am here for so romeo is now at the age where he much prefers looking out i think i'm gonna try him looking in 
because, you know, I don't know, I just can't be dealing with like dummies on the floor and stuff today. By the way, I use the Artipop carrier. I always get questions on this carrier whenever I... First of all, it's cute and stylish. It's also really, really comfy and really easy to do on your own. It is a bit pricier, but honestly, in the months that I've been using this with Romeo, much prefer it to any other carrier that I've ever had. And then, for big boy, we've got your bike! <gasps> it sounds so cool! Yeah, thank you. So gonna get on, on a bike one day. Yeah. yeah! Hang on, baby. Okay. Okay, let's get on your bike! Oh my gosh! Well done! Oh my gosh, you're such a big boy. Well done, Saint. Well done, babe. Oh my gosh, look at all the pumpkins, Saint. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited for Halloween and Christmas this year with him because he's like really gonna understand. Wow, darling. Look, it's a bat. Oh my God, all of this stuff is so- Mommy, sing us that place. What? Dad. Where on earth am I going to start with this? What else? Ooh! Pumpkin. Pumpkins! These are cute. These are cute. Oh, look at all of this stuff. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god, I love this. Pumpkin serving dish, £12. Okay, we've just come upstairs to the home section. You can see a couple of orange cushions, but it's not looking like crazy autumn in here just yet. Oh, sorry, I've actually just come across all of the autumn candles. Camping trip. Mm. Maple pumpkin with cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh my god. Have you any wool? Oh my god, this looks gorgeous. How nice is this for like a kitchen candle? Oh, that is really, really, that reminds me of like baking. This is called praline butter. I'm house cookie. I think I had this one last year actually. It's so nice. This one is nice, giving me like woodland vibes. Golden spice. Okay, next up on our little outing, TK Maxx is Secure. We have popped our candles in the car. Saint's so got a little bus I got him. And um, that one, Mommy. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Run away! Run away! Oh! Oh, they are a bit scary, aren't they, Saint? Yeah. Let's go. Run away. Run away. Oh my god. Guys, it's happening. Oh my god! Oh my god, okay white company dupes, what's going on here? Oh my god, hang on a minute, I actually just feel like I can't even... I feel like I actually just can't even like focus right now, like... Um, oh my god, I'm literally so excited for Christmas all of a sudden. Okay, we've got a cute little autumn wreath over here, I like that. That's another cute one there. Oh my goodness, Saint, look at all of this lovely home. Decor. Okay, b and &M, &M, they kind of really haven't got into their autumn era just yet. I feel like they've kind of done a Halloween soft launch and that's it really, you know, there wasn't too much in there. So we're going to give Matalan a little bit of a browse and then I think over there there's a Costa. So we're going to go and get Mummy something to eat because I actually, I'm really hungry right now. This is actually a fun fact. I used to work in this very Matalan, everybody. I used to organise all of the shit, like all of this if I show you, like a, like this clothing rack. I used to organise all of the sizes from front to back. So for example, the 10 would be at the front, the 14 would be in front of the 16, just so it was like an organised system. And that's, that was used to be my job when I was actually about 13. Wait, is that legal? 13? Maybe I was a little bit older. Okay, let's see if Matalana for sure. Ooh. Wow, that's lovely, isn't it, Saint? I'm a bit scary. It's a bit scary. Yeah. Is it? 
you down there. I wish I could bend over to show you everything fully, but it's a bit tough. Oh my god, no, stop. I've literally just seen something that I think I'm actually obsessed with. Farmer's Market. Saint, what could I put in here? And in there, what do you think I could put in there? Because Mummy really likes that. I think I get them one day. Saint, get it? Yeah. One day. Okay, sweetie. What, are you going to treat your mum to it one day? Yeah, but it on the way. Okay, thank you. Oh, yes, yes sir. sir, yes, yes sir. sir. Three bags oh. full. Oh. One for the day. I'm totally going to get this for a vase. Flowers. What do you think, Saint? Do you like it? £13.50. Let's go. Just seen this gorgeous, like neutral pumpkin duvet set. That's so cute. They've got a colour one over here as well. Oh my god, cozy up. That's a gorgeous candle. Let's go, Matalan. Oh my god, and there's this like fake plant in a pumpkin. Listen, does that actually pass as a pumpkin or does that just look like a vase? What do you guys think? Like, can I get away with that? We have come out to Costa for a bit of a snack and we've ordered basically the entire Maple um, menu. So Zane's got a little... You've got pumpkin biscuit, haven't you? Uh, maple hazelnut blondie, maple hazelnut muffin, which has a little leaf on it, which is so cute, and a maple hazelnut hot chocolate. What's up, Mummy? Here you go, baby. That's like a, it's called a blondie. Can you have some? You can have some, yes. Mmm. It's funny really because, obviously I'm only really doing this by myself because Connor is away. But honestly, it's actually really lovely bringing them both out for a bit of one-on-one -on -one time. Like, we've genuinely had a really good morning. Romeo is as happy as Larry in there. So it's been good as gold. I do find sometimes with parenting, things like outings and trips are a lot scarier in your head than they sometimes might actually be in real life. I mean, also, don't get me wrong. Sometimes we do get the, like, let's just go home. <laughs> but a lot of the time, so much fun. And also, oh, that's yummy, isn't it? really nice that blondie guys people are so so kind and so generous i've literally had about five women of all different ages come up to me one really really sweet elderly lady came up to me and she was like oh you get an arm and i was like oh yeah really well you know told them how old they were and she was like mine are all grown up now and i must admit there's something about boys with their mums like you know every day i hear from each one of my sons I have like five sons another woman just stopped and told me how well i was doing it's just like really really lovely and it just reiterates to me as well how important it is when you see a parent by themselves and you know just go and ask them if they're okay anything they can do it really does make such a difference mm. everybody i think it's just about to go three o'clock in the afternoon we got home we got everybody lunch you had some food you had some oh. food and mummy had some food and your big brother had some oh. food didn't we romeo went down for a monster nap like a really long nap he only woke up not so long ago but um saint saint literally refused his nap twice i tried to put him down twice first time i was like okay maybe he's not tired enough for a nap yet when we played and then he went back down I had to sleep for like 10 minutes and then he woke back up yeah he did so then mummy had to just think oh my goodness what's going on maybe saying doesn't have an app anymore and it was all coming out on the one day that mum's at home by herself with you guys and i thought oh no your big brother doesn't need a nap in the afternoon anymore 
Yeah, it's all happened when you were asleep. And what were you dreaming about? But anyway, he has gone down for a sleep now. So mm-hmm. me and Romy are just playing. He's just had another feed. And I'm making the most of being able to just sit and chill and feed him on the sofa in the living room. Like, usually when Saint's awake and I'm feeding Romeo, I try not to do this because he associates, like, me sitting down and chilling on here with the TV. And he always comes in and he's always like, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> Or Finding Nemo. Or Miss Rachel. His new favourite is Miss Rachel. Like, he really, really loves her. And, you know, I'm not against screen time at all, but I try to limit it. And obviously because Romeo is still breastfeeding, he kind of feeds, like, whenever and however long for. And sometimes, I don't know, I just, I'm just a bit mindful of, like, and I'm watching TV in front of Saint, I guess. I'd rather him be, like, playing in the playroom or playing outside. And... Anyway, I'm just watching Julia and Hunter, who are my current favourite YouTubers. Like, we love Julia and Hunter. And you're the same age as their baby boy, aren't you, Romeo? (laughs) Literally obsessed with the TV as well. I actually have to turn the TV off sometimes for him, because this is what he does the whole time. Guys, I really feel like Romeo's not my tiny newborn anymore. And it's starting to make me a bit sad and emotional. Like, both my boys are growing up so fast like Romeo is so just not like a sleepy newborn anymore like I said to Connor last night I really feel like he's like leveled up in babyhood way more like alert and awake and things to like do to play with him and sing to him started to roll over so we're doing a little tummy time and practicing that aren't we (laughs) honestly if I was to just sit here for an hour watching tv Romeo would happily chill like this like, I know it's literally so crazy because they're so little. I just can already sense that he is, like, such a chilled out guy. Me and Con always just joke that Romeo is just happy to be here. But genuinely, like, everything about Romeo's whole attitude, behaviour, he is just the happiest. Your boy. He's way, like, more laid back than Saint was. I don't know if that's just, like, a second baby thing. I guess, obviously, they have to go along with the flow a lot more than like the firstborn would yeah we always joke that like we never really hear romeo cry because he's just always so just like this it is really crazy how you just literally like love your kids so so much i don't even know what my life was like four months ago like four months ago today i was probably on my due date waiting for him to be born like so excited to meet him but not being able to picture like what he would look like and what he was going to be like and what our life would look like and I just can't even remember what that w- that was like honestly now that now that he's been here for a couple of months even I even felt like this one had been here for a week like you're just the best I'm so lucky I'm so lucky and also on weekends like this weekend I know it might sound like strange but I just feel like I'm just chilling at home with my best friends honestly like that's actually how it feels you know life before kids I would have tried to like make my weekends as jam-packed as possible if Connor wasn't going to be around I would have like made loads of plans I'd probably be going out I would not have just spent time at home relaxing but now I've got my babies it's just like you always have a best friend you never feel alone you never feel like what am I gonna do today I mean you do feel like that but in a different sense it's not like what am I gonna do to avoid spending time with myself today it's more what am I gonna do to bring joy into today for my kids I've changed outfits because it is suddenly really warm um it was like really cloudy looking like it was gonna rain but now it's actually like look can you see that sun on here it's like really really warm so yeah Romy's just chilling on his play mat until big brother wakes up i might have to go and wake him up in a minute to be honest show you all what i picked up from the shops this morning because i know we all love a little little tk max candle haul okay first up i got maple pumpkin i'm gonna have to do like a big decoration of this board here this is gonna be like my awesome centerpiece i bought this one again this year farmhouse cookie i just think that's such a great like kitchen candle isn't it i bought this one because i liked the look of the lid and also i feel like it actually smells like a bit of a dupe for um the white company fireside Mm. 
Yeah, I think I might actually prefer it to the White Company Fireside, to be honest. That's really, really good. And then I also bought these two. Oh my goodness. You have such a beautiful voice. Yes, you do. You do. Wow, are you going to be a singer one day? Are you going to be a singer? Yeah. And playing the piano. Oh my God. beautiful. Crazy. You can't help but amaze me. Yeah, and then I also bought these two. I bought this one because it was cute, not because it was autumnal. It says bestie. I thought that's quite Pinteresty, really, isn't it? The look of that. And then this one goes with it, and I thought that this was a little bit more festive, to be honest. It's called Ghost. And I thought that those two would look nice together somewhere. But those are my candles. I could have obviously stayed for ages and ages looking at, like, all the pumpkins and stuff. But I've seen that Next are doing some really nice pumpkin stuff at the moment that are quite, like, neutral focused. So... Hands up if you want the next tool because I'm I'm content contemplating it, I will tell you. And then from Matalan, I didn't have time to go into home bargains. I would have loved to. I didn't want to push it with the boys, you know. But I bought this gorgeous farmer's market bars, which I think I'm gonna put on there with maybe my farmhouse cookie candle. Hmm. I feel like those two look too similar, really. I mean, this candle is always, yeah, that looks good together. And I also bought this from Matalan as well. This says Cozy Up. I like it. Maybe I'll put this somewhere else because that's a lot of text. But no, I'll figure it out. And then I just bought a couple of, um, like, little just cheap basics for the boys. Honestly, I literally, like, I know I keep going on about it, but it's so true what people say about, like, having more kids. Like... I remember for saying, I literally bought like every, every single cute thing on Zara for every single age, like from newborn zero to three, three to six, six to nine. I must have bought the whole Zara website to be honest, what, for like what was available for him. This time around, I'm like, well, you're going to fit in that for about two weeks. So I may as well just buy you like seven of the same white baby Mori sleep suits and just rotate them. And that has literally been me. Like, Romeo's now in three to six. I remember for Saint, I had, like, cute joggers, sweatshirts, dungarees, all the rest of it. Romeo, I'm like, you're just comfy in your pyjamas. So I'm just going to keep you in that, you know? Anyway, I just bought a pack of sleep suits for him that I thought were quite sweet. It's like a three-pack with that one as well. And a pack of body suits as well. And then I also bought this for Romeo. Because, like I said, he is literally always in his sleep suits. I thought I'd better buy you a little cute daytime outfit, you know? So I thought that was quite sweet. And I think that was in the sale as well because it's, it's a bit summery, that one. And then I just bought this for Saint because it's a standard grey tracksuit. But it's got like a little digger logo on it, which I just thought is giving designer it's given designer from matalan with a little digger logo on it 13 pounds and he's in two to three years now which i don't know where that time's gone so yeah that's my little haul from the shops i'm actually gonna treat myself to a bit of tony's chocolate right now you know i'm sitting there with romeo and just eat a bit of tony's chocolate saint knows this is the snack cupboard and he goes in here and he says saint, saint wants a snack i say okay and earlier i said do you want me to go and get you a snack he said no mommy saint do it and he ran in and he came back with this with a massive smile on his face and i was like that's, that's yucky. I don't think you're gonna like that. Am I a bad man? Or am I just, you know, preserving a bit of the good stuff for myself, you know? Back in the Swift household, thank God. I've missed my wife so much. <laughs> I felt just completely off the whole weekend. I've been in a shell of a man. 
but here I am. Mum's home. The weekend is done. It's Tuesday. A there is outside. World yeah. War Three yeah. happening outside right now. What's going on out there? Leave us alone. <laughs> I have just finally finished editing this video. I'm going to get out for you guys tonight. And what were you going to add? I felt like there was an and in there somewhere, so I just got there before you. Well, my only and was that. Had a lovely weekend. Oh, without me, brilliant. Yeah, no, unfortunately. That's the first thing Elle said to me when I came in a Sunday night. She said, "Actually, I've had a re we've had a really fun weekend we did without have you." A really fun. Like, okay. No, but it wasn't without you. It was just we What's just like had a really lovely weekend. Um, maybe just I think because before you went, I think maybe I was getting in my head a little bit like my head. how. Is this gonna go? But as usual, anxiety is just worrying about just the such future. Such a good mum, aren't you? That's what it is. You're just such a good mum. You just embrace everything. You sound like taking a piss. I'm not taking a piss. That's the truth. You're a brilliant mum. Best mum in the world. <laughs> you really sound like taking a piss. I'm not taking the piss. Okay. Let me do serious eyes. I'm such a good mum to my kids. I love you for that. Anxiety is just worrying about the future. That's what I you told know? you, Ellie. No, no I definitely to told that. you that. Literally, when did no, you tell no, me that? No, literally. I think it's in my notes. Things that I hear I like. Oh, God. <laughs> Honestly. But I had a lovely weekend anyway. And this is just a loving reminder to any other parent out there who's feeling a little bit anxious about something. or In fact, it's not even a parent. Just anybody thinking worrying about something that is in the future you never know it might just be the loveliest thing that's happened to you yet well, like you leave them for the weekend <laughs> it's the loveliest thing that ever happened to you <laughs> you're not selling this out no you guys know what i mean me and the boys had a lovely weekend but back to reality now with con <laughs> like that made it sound what a shame he's back <laughs> speaking of speaking con, of what speaking of con right if i go for a quick run yes just sipping on my Goes pre workout actually. I got it today, brand new. Mm. It's gorgeous. I'll tell you what, guys, if anyone else is out there listening to fitness and wants a few extra supplements to aid them on their journey, mm. go on to the Ghost website. You can use my discount code SWIFT and it saves you 20% off. Love that for you. Yeah, so if anyone wants to do it. These are the three products I use the most. I use a product called Size, which has creatine in it, which every single person should be taking if you're. Um, going to the gym and lifting weights. This is another, probably my second favourite product. It's uh, pre-workout. So I use these together. And then lastly, we got some aminos. This is good because it has a product called Hydration In, which has electrolytes, which I think is essential to working out. So it's, okay. if you get these three products, you're smashing it. PT com. So yeah, I'm a qualified PT, so I do know what I'm talking about. I am a qualified PT. You are qualified. We're both qualified PTs. Yeah, but I'm also a qualified nutritionist. I'm a qualified spin instructor. So am I. Hmm. 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 Got a degree. I've got a um, diploma in meditation. <laughs> why do you laugh whenever I mention that? What? Literally, why do you laugh? No, I don't laugh. Anybody laugh. remember my diploma era? I do, very well. <laughs> I think that was COVID. I wanted something to take my mind off of stuff, so I did a load of diplomas when I was meditation. Anyway. Anyway. I feel like the majority of this vlog has been in the kitchen. Oh. If you feel like that as well, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I'm sure you're probably bored of these four walls. It's September. It's our favourite month. And I am going to try really hard. No, I don't know why I said that, actually, because it's not. I don't know why I said that. Favourite season we're about to go into. That's why my mind was going yeah, with that. Yeah, um, uh, We are going to try... This? Yes. We are going to try really hard... From now on to be doing two videos daily a week, vlogs. can't we come? I know about daily Let's vlogs. Let's do the Halloween daily vlog. Let's call it... It's called Vlogto Vlogtober, come before you try and Is think it? of another name. That's yeah. terrible, I can think of that one. Go on then, think of another one. Go on. Vlogger-oween? Uh, Pardon? Vlogger-oween. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think that's good? Vlogger-oween. <laughs> I really, really, honestly appreciate your patience so much since Romeo's been born with like my weird and random and wonderful YouTube 
upload schedule. We just miss vlogging though, don't we? Alex? We do miss vlogging. Like That's honestly, I was saying at the start of this video con how I feel like I haven't done just like a just like a normal at home vlog where I've been just pot doing nothing but pottering around, doing my thing, like a proper you know? Vlog. Yeah, like a proper vlog at home in yeah, ages. Yeah, yeah. And I've really, really missed it. So I've really enjoyed this one. And if you enjoy it too, please let me know below. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, then, well. Uh, like and subscribe. Congratulations, because this is what's coming up, honey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, two videos a week we're going to be aiming for Wednesdays and Sundays is and always a Sundays. schedule we used to stick to. So I'd love to get back to that, but that today's like, Tuesday and I'm uploading, so. That was saint, though. You reckon we got that in us? I feel like. I reckon, I'll edit a video. I think they'll be able to realise which one I edit or not, because it'll just be an hour, like two hours long, with one cut in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, I was uploading. <laughs> lots of ideas for autumn content obviously it literally does not feel like autumn at the moment because it's literally these stunning blue skies it's 29 degrees it's lovely but it's not quite feeling like autumn yet so i feel like i kind of want to hold off the autumn content until we're all feeling it because right now this is giving july you know but anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the vlog here. My angels, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love ya.